and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Dark and Iran pressing their way th through the collector base and, you know, just saving humanity casually again. I don't think this. I'd again. say we're about halfway through with Garrus leading the second fire team and Jack providing cover for our long walk. No, not Miranda, fuck off. Probably <laughs> Tally to make sure she stays alive. And Tally but... stays with us and. Probably better to also bring someone else that isn't very tough. I mean, I guess we can bring Thane or Kasumi. Yeah, one of those two is exactly what I was thinking of. Which Probably Thane since he has biotics. Yeah, good idea. Well, collectors can have barriers and barriers are weak to biotics, so there you go. Moving out! Stay close if you want to live! She's not kidding. Step out of that and it's basically instant death. Good to know. Damn. The swarms are interfering with radio contact. You ready for this? Commander. I'll take that as a yes. Incoming. They've seen it this fall. Chicken. On my way. I must tell you the car shepherd of my will. Yeah, I guess it would be kind of difficult to fight one in Yeah, yeah like, it's very hard to We didn't get to remember about biotics and why Shepard grabbing uh, more in his hand, which you when it's during the Samara's loyalty mission, is it works by uh, firing ner uh, uh, nodes that have formed along your ner uh, nervous system. So those hand gestures um, help fire those nerves. Makes sense. So basically, she can't use her hands because she's using her hands to hold up the barrier. Yeah, at least there was gold for it to use. Yeah. Hostiles, dead ahead! That's not just an open fish, don't they? Well, that worked. No, it might be a great idea to just kill everyone else. Too. It's kind of a um, mix. Yeah. Nothing starts with the last pause. <laughs> pause. <laughs> really? Motherfucker. Yeah, that's what. Dang, don't you have warp? There we go. Just tear off his barriers. Like this. Let me know when you're ready to move up, Commander. Right. Let's go. Oh, 
Do you need a letter yet? You broke kind the of... slow. Strain. Yeah. I mean, I'm guessing from the way biotics work, she's a. Uh, she's. It's like she's physically holding this barrier up. Yeah. It can't be easy, even for someone as powerful as her. Ammo. Oh, fuck. Did I ever mention I hate Zion? Maybe. I really, really fucking hate Zion. Things down. Fix that. Need to put up a barrier. Don't, don't run out of the barrier. Ow! Ow! Also, don't die. Barrier. Okay, it's the hard way then. Oh, fuck. Get off me. Hello! Gosh, At this point, why not use Medigate, huh? What'd you say, Ren? At this point, why not use Medigate, huh? Yeah. Let my shields come back. Yeah, God, I hate Zions. Yeah. I'm not even entirely sure what they do anymore. But they look very fine. They fired at... Uh... Shockwave blast that keeps going, and it goes through cover too, which, which is what really was killing me. Yeah, that's really annoying. Not taking cover from posts anyway. Yeah, come on, Jack, you can make it. There's the door. Come on. See the entrance. Need to get there soon. Eyes up front. At least that seems to encourage her. Yeah, I put a little pepper in her step. That means you need to hurry. <laughs> Come on. Where you're getting the assault rifle from? I don't know. All right, let's move. But thanks to nothing very what they learned for just in different classes. Yeah. It's just a generic weapon, so everyone uses it. And piss off! I like how you can see the biotic bubble in the background. Mm. You copy? Come on, Shepard, where are you? I copy. What's your position? We're pinned down at the door, taking heavy fire. We're coming. Just hold on. Get this door open. Come on. Seal the door. Alright. He's fine. Yeah, he is Kairos after all. Joker, are you at the rendezvous point? I'm here, Commander. Chakwas and the rest of the crew just showed up. Morton's group just arrived, Shepard. No casualties. Excellent. Now let's make it count. Edie, what's our next step? There should be some nearby platforms that will take you to the main control console. From there, you can overload the system and destroy the base. Commander, you got a problem. Hostiles massing just outside the door. Won't be long till I bust through. We need to finish this before they get through. Pick a team to go with you and leave the others here to defend this position. That should buy you some time. Okay, obviously Garrus, Grunt, and Zaid are going to be the three heaviest hitters for the 
the holding the holding ground. Yep. Much as I would love to bring Garrus for this. Well, we were obviously gonna bring Tali anyway. And um, Legion. Legion. He won't be particularly useful. Assault rifles, sniper rifles, and his main ability is AI hacking. What about Miranda? Mm -hmm. I mean, she's got slam and heavy warp. That's definitely going to be ha coming handy. Mm -hmm. I think Miranda's our best bet here. She's got the right guns. No, she doesn't. Jesus. How long has it been since we used her? Probably since uh, the mission. Which technically shouldn't have been that long. I'm ready, Commander. What's the best one with him? Anything besides, you know, Delhi and Legion. The Collectors, the Reapers, they aren't a threat to us. They're a threat to everything, everyone. Those are the lives we're fighting for. That's the scale. It's been a long journey, and no one's coming out without scars. But it all comes down to this moment. He's excited to yeah. win or lose it all in the next few minutes. Make me proud. Make yourselves proud. Well said. Let's go finish this. Time for the final battle, huh? Gotta make our way there first. Enemies incoming! Yeah. <laughs> Were it so easy, huh? Oh, more Daka. What problem can't you solve? Cancer? Long range. That's what problem you can't solve. The other thing you can solve is actually building a step back. The problem with that. Now we have to wait for the other uh, collectors. <laughs> How nice of them to bring us platforms. Right? Sadly, we cannot just make a bad way out of bullets. Fucking I will try. Go on. I've got the ammo Wait. for it. <laughs> He's gonna pull like this and shoot a rocket and ride it. That would be awesome. <laughs> that would be fucking awesome. Enemies incoming. Like, that would be as hype as the music is. <laughs> of course. Miranda. <laughs> you got a barrier? You got armor? <laughs> No, you don't. Yeah, see, not having, um... Not having that is just an encouragement for me. It just means it's time to fight even harder. Hi there! You aren't very good at securing uh, your flanks, Harbinger. We are not finished. Very, very. Ah, oh, fuck. It's in the area, Emma, please. That's two scions. And come across. Are you regret? Are you regretting not leveling? Oh, is Incendiary Ammo is maxed. Oh, I was thinking of... Cryo Ammo is the one I... Cryo Ammo is the one I don't have maxed. Oh, well, yeah. Down. I think they're fucking dead. <sighs> this is it. All the tubes lead to this spot. Edie, what can you tell us? What are they doing? Structure is a reaper. No, 
not just any Reaper. A human Reaper. Precisely. That's the kind of possibility to Building a ship like a human. Why? It appears that a Reaper's shape is based upon the species used to create it. Reapers are machines. Why do they need humans at all? Incorrect. Reapers are sapient constructs, a hybrid of organic and inorganic material. The exact construction methods are hmm. unclear, but it seems probable that the Reapers absorb the essence of a species, utilizing it in their reproduction process. I don't think. Either it is really bare asking. Not really, no. This thing is an abomination. Edie, how do we destroy it? The large tubes injecting the fluid are a weak structural link. Destroying them should cause the supports to collapse and the Reaper to fall. Give us a minute, Edie. We've got to take care of some old friends first. Direct Enemies incoming! Is necessary. Miranda? Just deletes half his barrier in a single hit. Yeah, that's usually pretty nice. Time is a wonderful power to have. Mm -hmm. I need on the boss of fire. Yeah. I think it's like you know, use the Western pistols pull down or whatever. Uh, that and my reaction time. Yeah. Not necessary. I have a better option. I'm looking at the schematics Edie uploaded. A timed radiation pulse would kill the remaining collectors, but leave the machinery and technology intact. This is our chance, Shepard. They were building a Reaper. That knowledge, that framework could save us. It liquefied people, turned them into something horrible. We have to destroy the base. Don't be short-sighted. Our best chance against the Reapers is to turn their own resources against them. I'm not so sure. Seeing it firsthand, using anything from this base seems like a betrayal. If we ignore this opportunity, that would be a betrayal. They were working directly with the Collectors. Who knows what information is buried there? This base is a gift. We can't just destroy it. Nope. No matter what kind of technology we might find, it's not worth it. Shepard, you died fighting for what you believed. I brought you back so you could keep fighting. Some would say what we did to you was going too far, but look what you've accomplished. I didn't discard you because I knew your value. Don't be so quick to discard this facility. Think of the potential. Nope. We'll fight and win without it. I won't let fear compromise who I am. Miranda, do not let Shepard destroy the base. Or what? 
You'll replace me next? I gave you an order, Miranda. I noticed. Consider this my resignation. <laughs> Shepard, <laughs> think about what's at stake. About everything Cerberus has done for you. You click. <laughs> yeah, we've heard enough. Alright. Time to leave. Now we I know that sound. They ran. Remember how I said there was only two things I considered worth using the cane on? Yeah, I can the figure. No worry, I didn't forget. I can't let knew you were going to go. <laughs> ah, staggered me. That was also not surprising. Come on, guy. Come on on up. So what, do I need to get closer? I can do closer. Enough. It's basically have no ammo for my rifle left. Come on, come on. Come back up. I'll hmm. fucking kill you with a pistol. Yeah, I mean, we have to find the weapon now. It, take, it takes uh, like 100% to fire again. There's like no way to actually call it to a shot. Yeah. Because that was the max of right? Yeah, I had like 175%, so there might have been a 200% somewhere, but I don't know. Uh. Anyway, not a problem anymore. Yep. Oh, no, you don't. You are not going anywhere, Missy. Very appropriate that it was that. Oh, it's gonna be a rough ride. Fuck. Yes, we didn't get to experience most of that rough ride. I don't know, my back kinda hurts. Second, be so second, yeah, second best uh, piece on the soundtrack. Yeah. Come on. Commander, come on, Shepard. Don't leave me hanging. Do you copy? I'm here, Joker. Did the ground team make it? All survivors on board. We're just waiting for you. Oh, gotta go. You may have changed nothing. Your species has the attention. Infinitely or greater. That which you know as Reapers are your salvation to destruction. Suck. <laughs> Recoil? Never heard of it. That's the guy with bad legs. <laughs> bad everything, Rand. Yeah.
another way. No, you won't. Oh, that. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't even need a Western name with a collector. No, it was a Reaper. Makes sense, really. It's, uh... What? <sighs> Time to deliver it my debrief. Shepard, you're making a habit of costing me more than time and money. You get the help you deserve. And what about the rest of humanity? Your ideals have cost us more than you can imagine. The technology from that base could have secured human dominance in the galaxy against the Reapers and beyond. Human dominance or just Cerberus? Strength for Cerberus is strength for every human. Cerberus is humanity. I should have known you'd choke on the hard decisions. Too idealistic from the start. I know what you are, and the price of dealing with you. We do things my way from now on. Harbinger is coming, and he won't be alone. I'm gonna make sure we're ready when they get here. You can fall in line or step aside, but don't get in my way. You're sure that's what you want? You're taking a hell of a risk, Shepard. Joker, lose this gem. Oh, I didn't say the good line. Sorry, there's a lot of bullshit on this channel. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny that the star turns blue here. Mm -hmm. I think it actually turns whatever color your, your dominant morality is. Yeah, makes sense. Of course, that was a renegade conversation right there. <laughs> Fuck off. It didn't really deserve any of it. Yeah. We got a little patchwork to do here and there. Yeah, well. Manage. I'd say that counts as evidence. out into the stars. Stars gaze back. Yeah, I mean, they might not have the hyperdrive or whatever from the... Uh, from the Citadel, but they can still travel normally. So it's not surprising they could eventually arrive anyway. As much as I love listening to this piece of the soundtrack, oh my oh, that, that's probably my favorite part about this game, is the soundtrack. Mm. As much as I love listening to this piece, let's skip that, because we can go talk to go talk to everyone now. Yeah, under my study, finally. <laughs> continue the game. Well, continue, obviously. We got shit to do. His name is Tally. <laughs> Sorry for being late. I was doing stuff. Doing stuff. <laughs> so, Kenneth, did you know we've got a crazy Oh, woman now we're talking about this? Subdeck? What? If she touches anything, I'll kill her. Oh, then the only thing she wears from her waist up is tattoos. Oh, maybe I should go down and welcome her aboard. And she's a murderer. Has biotic powers that could crush you with a blink. Hates everyone in Cerberus. Damn it, girl. Stop toying with me. <laughs> Didn't we saw that one already? No, we haven't heard that one yet. That's the intro for Jack. I just feel like we have. We haven't. Oh, what? Well. 
Thanks for coming to get us, Commander. I felt myself slipping away. You arrived just in time. Thank you. Carry on. Will do, Commander. Yeah, everyone's got a little bit, a little line here and there for that. I can't believe we destroyed the collector base. They said it couldn't be done. Then again, that said about a lot of things you do. Have you got time to talk? Yes, I'd like that. Like a romantic walk into the drive core. Last time we talked. I'm sorry. I was unprofessional and I wasn't thinking rationally. I was being stupid and selfish. You've never been selfish. If anything, you spent too much time thinking of the fleet and not enough thinking of yourself. That might be true for humans, but quarians are different. We can't just. We have to think of other people, always. If we don't think about the needs of the whole crew, people could get hurt. Maybe even killed. You deserve to be happy with someone. I can't do that. No matter how much I... I could get sick. Jeopardize the mission. And... no. Tally, if you're scared, I don't blame you. But I don't want anyone else. I want you. And I'll do whatever I have to to make this work. I, I, I wouldn't blame you if, but, oh, thank you. <laughs> you don't know what the, oh, thank you. Give me a little time. I'll do some research, figure out how to make this work. Do your research quickly, Miss Vast Normandy. Captain's orders. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> yes, definitely. Until then, I should, you know. Do something. Repairs for the mission. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for the mission we just finished. <laughs> I mean, we still have other stuff to do. Yeah, I guess. So, I've taken some antibiotics as well as some herbal supplements that should bolster my immune system. I was going to bring music, but I didn't know what you'd like. And I'm babbling like an idiot. It's okay. Come here. I just don't want to... I want this to work. I thought it over. I've minimized the risks, but I'm still nervous. And that always makes me talk too much. It's a defense <laughs> mechanism, and it's... It's adorable. People who... Who just see the helmet can't see my expression, so I have to make it clear what I'm, what I'm feeling. That's pretty fucking clear. <laughs> I, I think so. She meant complete. I don't know. Yeah. I just noticed that the helmet sits on our desk. You know, our old helmet. Hmm. Good point. And they're calm, invite Tally up. Mmm, some alone time. Yeah. I think she's got some commentary for the after, um... Let's what? find out. Most, uh, yeah. most partners do. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? For you? Of course. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you how much what you said means to me. But I understand if you need to find something, someone else. Not that I'm complaining if you're still interested. Um, are you still interested? Hmm. I don't want to risk your health. But I'm willing to wait. Thank you. Okay then, interesting. Makes sense. We wouldn't really well have to, you know. I'll, I'll just have to make sure that the uh, the romance flag is on on the save when I transfer it over. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, we talk to everyone else. I'm still a little shaken from my abduction by the collectors. It was a lot to endure. You and Jeff came so quickly. I've never had truer friends. 
Thank you, Commander. Adorable. Someone's not feeling too well. An interesting choice, Shepard Commander. Your species was offered everything death aspired to. True unity, understanding, transcendence. You rejected it. You even refused the possibility of using the old machine's gifts to achieve it on your species' own terms. You are more like us than we thought. I'd like to find out more about it. Topic. When we took you aboard, I noticed you have a piece of N7 armor welded to you. Where did you get it? It was yours. When you disappeared, we were sent to find you. We began where you first encountered the heretics. Eden Prime. After the old machine's attack, it was heavily defended. We were discovered. This is the impact of a rifle shot. I like the <laughs> long pause Legion had before even starting to say that. Yeah. How many other Geth were sent out to find me? We are the only mobile platform beyond the veil. Organics fear us. We wish to understand, not in sight. One platform was judged sufficient. You've been looking for me for two years? We visited Therum, Theros, Novaria, Vermeer, Ilos. A dozen unsettled worlds. The trail ended at Normandy's wreckage. You were not there. Organic transmissions claimed your death. We recovered this debris from your heart suit. That doesn't explain why you use my armor to fix yourself. There was a hole. But why didn't you fix it sooner? Or with something else? No data available. <laughs> <laughs> and they say machines can't get embarrassed. Right. <laughs> or perhaps it itself doesn't quite comprehend it. Not yet, at least. I can't believe you took down the Collectors. I'm proud to serve under you, Commander. Hawthorne is still in the infirmary, though I think his pride is more broken than his bones. He tried so hard to help Joker. Oh, yeah. Hawthorne was the one that when we came up with the ladder over there, um, and stepped out yeah, in the hall. He, he wanted to protect Joker and just, and just kind of got fight. And it just, yeah, it got yeeted by the Scion. Hey, it's a thought that counts, right? Yeah, hey, he's still alive. Yeah, that's more than what some crewmen can say. Like that poor bastard who was in front, in front of the elevator when the Praetorian came out. Hmm. Those, um, those front legs are kind of sharp. For Saren, now the Collectors, remind me never to get on your bad side, Shepard. <laughs> I almost feel sorry for the Reapers. <laughs> Well said. You got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedonis. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. People don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. <laughs> it's funny getting into this conversation after we finished it. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about tracking Saren to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some Geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I prefer blind optimism. <laughs> Fair enough. Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing. Blind optimism. That's what you call it. I mean, with Sereni was kinda. You really are a hero. No sooner had the Collectors damned us than you were pulling our sorry asses right back out of hell. Your ace is in my book, Shepard. Thank you. We had to do it, Shepard. Taking down the Collector base was the right decision. The elusive man might not agree, but we had no choice. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. This coming from the, the woman who was who was a elusive man's lap dog up until twenty minutes ago. Mm -hmm. So what the fuck am I looking at? I'm just staring down at the floor. According to the Daria thing, that was the once re once restaurant. 
You had to make a difficult choice, Shepard. For what it's worth, I believe you made the correct one. Have a few minutes to talk? If you wish. The last time we talked, you started speaking about a past event, as if you were watching it. Drell have perfect memories. We can relive any moment in our lives with perfect clarity. It's difficult to control at times. Some of us disappear into, you know, let's call it solipsism. You can relive every assassination you've ever made? In perfect detail. Every mistake I made. Every target's last breath. That sounds difficult. At any moment, you could relive the guilt. Guilt? No. I've never felt any particular guilt about my contracts. My employers killed them. My body was only the tool they used. If you kill a man with your gun, do you hold the gun responsible? My gun can't decide right from wrong. You clearly do. My soul does. But my body is merely flesh. Flesh whose reflexes were honed to kill. Drell minds are different from humans. We see our body as a vessel, and accept that it is not always under our control. That's a strange way of looking at yourself. Humans often believe in a soul distinct from the body. A spirit responsible for moral reasoning that lives on after the body's death. Our belief is just a bit more literal. The last time we <laughs> talked, guess. you remembered one of your assassinations. Something about sunset-colored eyes? Ah. Uh, that time. Laser duck trembles on the skull. Spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant in the scope. A bystander noticed my spotting laser and threw herself between me and the target. She couldn't see me, but she stared me down. It was odd that you just blurted that out. Just another vivid draw memory? Not... no. She was a vivid person. Did you take the shot? Not that day. I should get back to my mm -hmm. duties. Shepard, I appreciate these chats we have. You've spent a lot of your life alone, Thane. <laughs> Work fulfilled me. Reading. I barely spoke to anyone outside my family. It seems there will be no one to mourn me when I die. You're the only friend I've made in ten years. The rest of us lose as much as you do when you hold yourself apart. I found it difficult to sit in the ship's mess for meals. I'm used to keeping my back against a wall, facing the doors. I'm trying to relax. Find my center. I mean, if nothing else, you got his son now. Yeah. He's getting better. I wanted to tell you, I believe you did the right thing by destroying that base. The elusive man thinks he has the wisdom to utilize it, but he does not. I should go. Of course. I'll take the words of the, you know, several hundred year old matri matriarch over the, uh, I don't know, 40 year old megalomaniac. Yeah. No matter how... Oh, okay. oh you and Tally finally got together. <coughs> don't worry, I won't pry. She took her mask off with you. That took a lot of trust on her part. Of course she would know. Tally is so cute. You're all she talks about in that sweet rainbows and butterflies kind of way. She loves you, Shepard. Be good to her. <laughs> Liara to so oh, has quite a reputation. I've done business with her people before. Come back later. I'm sure business, I'll have more to huh? talk about. Well, that clears that deck, so next time, whenever that may be, we can fit, fit, hear what the rest of the crew's thoughts are and move on to the final task for us for in this game. I'm going to get a report to the council. <laughs> That's cute, Rand. Guess not. Nope. Anyway. Later. Bye.